Hello friends, in this lesson we shall learn about the effect of heating caused due to the resistance in the circuit. The goal of an electric bulb is to give light. We know it gives light because its filament gets heated up to a level where it begins to emit photons which are small packets of visible light. So more heat, more light. And why it gets heated up? Because of resistance. But why resistance causes heat? Let us learn. Consider a current I flowing through a resistor of resistance R. Say this is the tungsten wire of the electric bulb. Let's say the potential difference across it is V. As we saw in the earlier lesson about electric power, energy required in a circuit for running it for time t equal to V into I into t. What happened to this energy expended? This energy gets converted from electrical energy in the resistor to heat energy. So heat energy is equal to V into I into t. From Ohm's law, we know V equal to IR. So replacing IR by V, we get heat equal to I square R T. The famous scientist Joule also supported this equation. He said, heat produced in a resistor is directly proportional to the square of current flowing through it. It's directly proportional to resistance for the given conductor and is directly proportional to time for which the current flows assuming resistance is unchanged. So if we combine these three proportions we get heat equal to I square R T. If resistance is higher more heat is produced. Heater and bulbs work on this principle. That is why the filament of the bulb is made of tungsten which has high resistivity rho and tungsten has high melting point close to 3380 degree centigrade Hence, it does not melt at such high temperature. The filament is made thin, so small cross section area and long due to spiral wire. So all these three factors make resistance higher and hence more heat is generated and some part of the heat gets converted into light energy that we see. So that is a good use of heat energy. Another use of this is the fuse used in electrical circuits. Fuse protects circuits and appliances by stopping the flow if suddenly high electric current comes in the circuit. The fuse is placed in the series in the circuit. The fuse consists of a piece of a wire made of a metal or an alloy of appropriate melting point, for example aluminium copper. If electric current larger than the specified value flows through the circuit, the temperature of the fuse increases and it melts the fuse wire and breaks the circuit as it is series circuit. So current stops flowing and protects our appliances. The fuses used in for domestic purposes are rated as 1 amp, 2 amp, 3 amp, 5 amp, 10 amp and it will break the circuit if current greater than that value flows through the circuit for prolonged time. But unfortunately CPUs, TV or even wires get hot after carrying current for long time. So that is unwarranted use of this principle. So that's all in this lesson. Bye-bye.